In this video, you're going to learn how to use the drawer navigator component to navigate between all the screens in your app. Hey there friends, my name is Darren and if this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome to the channel. And this video was actually requested by a viewer like you, so if you have any ideas, be sure to let me know in the comments as I would love to make videos that you want to see. Well, without further ado, without further rambling, let's get into learning how this drawer navigator works. Um, so the first thing that you need for a drawer navigator is you actually need a screen. So if you don't have a screen, we're actually going to create a new one for this video and we're gonna call it the home screen. Within this home screen, we're going to add a few things. So the first is a label, and then after that label, we will add a, another label, and then below that label, we're going to add a button, and then below that button, we're going to add a column. Now, there is a method to my madness, I promise. Now, for this first label, we're going to call this Brewbase, as this is the title of our app. We're just going to kind of uh, show that at the top of every, every screen in the app. We'll set the font size to 30, and we will color it orange. Now, for the label, I actually um, have this text already defined over on another screen, so let me go ahead and copy that over. But essentially what we want to do here is just welcome the user. This is going to be the, the landing screen where we want the user to uh, kind of first start out. So yeah, there we go. We have the text in there. Let's go ahead and increase the font a bit and then center it. So but we can do that by going to advance under textile, scroll down to text align, and we can set that to center. And then for the button, we can um, say, uh, start search or start a search however you want to say it start a search and so this is going to um, send us to the search screen so we'll call this search uh, button on home we'll set this text color to orange and for the size let's go ahead and set this to let's try 30 yeah 30 looks good all right, and then lastly, what is this column for? This column is here to help us with the spacing in the app, um, or on the screen, rather. So if we set the height to 1%, well, what's the point of this? Well, it all comes into play when for the screen, you set the vertical alignment to space between this column forces this button to be kind of floating rather than being stuck to the bottom. So again, it just helps us out with the spacing. One last thing on the blocks before we actually add the navigator. When we are on the home screen, when the search button is clicked, let's navigate to the search screen. So when search button clicked, navigate to the search screen. Awesome. So now we have added a screen and that is the pretty much the only requirement in order um, to add the drawer navigator, or really um, why you would want to add it. So let's close all these screens. We have five here. And so now we can add this drawer navigator. So I'm gonna throw this up at the top. And how the drawer navigator works is each of your screens has to be nested under it. So we can add home, then after home, we can add search. Let's make sure I get these in the order I want. So home, search, after search, maybe I want to add city. After city, I can add results. And then I can add in the info. So here I have five screens. They're all nested under the drawer navigator. And so now let's take a look at, uh, at what this does for our app. Let's see if it's actually working inside of the app. So let's take a look. So here I have that home screen that I just created. I have my title, my label, and I have my button. Uh, it doesn't really look like a button. We can change that in a sec. Um, but when I select start a search, it brings me to the search screen. So that's working. But what's cool is if I slide over from the left, I have now a drawer navigator. So I can see all the screens that I have in my app and I can kind of move between those. 
So now let's go back to home. Let's update a few things um, just to kind of make this more unique. On the home screen, uh, let's invert this button. So text or set the text color to white, set the background color to orange. And then let's also add some orange to the drawer navigator. And what I mean by this is you have these color options here inside of the properties. So let's set the active tint color to white and the background color to orange. Um, so this is going to give us a white and orange kind of flavor inside of the drawer navigator. All right, so looking at it, now we see the button is orange. So we can click on that, that works. And now when I swipe over for the drawer navigator, now I see that all of my screens, whenever I select them, I can go between them. And yeah, so the drawer navigator looks good. I have that orange text, everything. Uh, looks really nice. So pretty basic navigators are very useful. And so I hope you found this video useful and be sure to check out all the videos in this series. This one was kind of off the cuff of what we've been doing in this series, but um, this app is really all about working with the web API. So if that interests you, be sure to check out all the videos in the series. And this series comes with a downloadable cheat sheet that shows you all of the components and blocks I'm using in this app. So a link for that is in the description below. Well, that's all I have today for you, my friend. Happy coding.